Hello, and welcome to the Sunnyside Update. My name is Julio Chavez. And I'm Katrina Arroyos. And we are here to bring you news and information on the Sunnyside Unified School District. For one week in February, elementary schools from the Sunnyside District join schools from around the nation for National Love of Reading Week. The celebration promotes an appreciation of literature among students and adults through such activities as special readings and presentations. At Mission Manor, students met challenges set forth to them by the school's Love of Reading Committee. Mission Manor librarian Angie Kathamer tells the update more. Ever since 1988, during our Love of Reading Week, we have been providing a book for every student in our school. We started with the low number from like 498, 500 students to our present enrollment, which is almost up to 700 students. At the last two district parent council meetings, district schools presented their school improvement plans. The update spoke to Los Amigos principal, Pan Benton, at the January meeting. The schools have spent a lot of time looking at their data, identifying what are the needs of kids, what are the training needs for teachers, what do we need to do with parents, all of our SMART goals, they write SMART goals for each of those areas, one for parent involvement, for safe and orderly schools, for the academic content, reading, writing, math, um, technology, so the school spent a lot of time developing those goals using data and identifying what strategies are going to be working for our kids. Habitat for Humanity has approached the Sunnyside District regarding openings in their housing program and would like Sunnyside families to apply. 14 homes will be available in the Corona del Pueblo development adjacent to Lawford Middle School. Information sessions will be held the first Thursday of each month at 5.30 p.m. Those interested must call to be pre-qualified and to reserve a space. The update spoke with Lori Babel, who is Homeowners Services Director at Habitat for Humanity. To qualify for a Habitat home, our families must be first-time home buyers. That's according to HUD's guidelines. That means they cannot have owned a home in the last three years. They must be legal residents of Pima County, and they also have to fit within our income guidelines, um, which is in our informational brochure, uh, which you can obtained by calling our office at 326-1217. On January 14, 500 eighth grade students from the district's five middle schools gathered at the University of Arizona to take part in the annual Math Moves You Day sponsored by Raytheon Missile Systems. During the event, students took part in building telescopes. The annual Math Moves You Day shows young people that math, science, and technology are an integral part of everyday life and that math and science education can lead to diverse, exciting careers. Part of the curriculum at Star Academic Center is project-based learning which takes place on Fridays. Last month, Star invited students, families, and the community to learn about the diverse projects taking place at the school. Projects include working with wildlife rescue, animal welfare, and animal cruelty prevention, art, music, a film review project, community garden, community stories, and more. I'm learning a lot actually. I'm learning that like how like the different different situations depend on how the crops will grow. Like it's a whole it's a whole the whole bunch of science behind the farming. So that, that's what really surprised me and I started seeing that while we started doing what we were doing. Daily time on the computer is part of the standard based curriculum for Ocotillo preschool students. They use developmentally appropriate software and hardware, such as a touchscreen, a small-sized mouse, and color-coded keys for work on early language and literacy, math, social studies, science, and cause and effect. We were able to uh, spend um, some of our money on uh, computer systems. Uh, we were very interested in aligning with uh, the district's initiative for the digital advantage and we really feel like we have an opportunity to uh, help to prepare our kids to go into kinder uh, with some basic computer skills. Students at Mission Manor Elementary School are keeping Mission Manor Park clean. Their teacher Chris Brown spoke to the update about their cleanup efforts. This is a combination of a lot of the different kids, all grade levels, they came in, they volunteered, they wanted to give back to um, the community by cleaning up. So, so on an early release day of a Wednesday, we decided we'd spend that time to clean the park, and that's what we've done. 
Elvira Elementary teacher Andy Townsend has been named a Rodell Exemplary teacher. Mr. Townsend teaches fifth grade at Elvira and has done so for the past five years. The update visited Mr. Townsend's class as he was presented with the honor. It's really an unbelievable honor, something I've never imagined. Um, this is a great honor for our class um, and I'm really proud, but um, I think it's, it's also a very exciting day for Elvira. Sunnyside Pride! And now for your Sunnyside Pride segment. Congratulations to Desert View teacher Jerry Fisher, who was named 2009 Arizona Science Teachers Association High School Science Teacher of the Year. Congratulations to Tucson attorney and Sunnyside alum Rick Gonzalez, who was recipient of the 25th Annual University of Arizona Hispanic Alumni Association's Portrait of Excellence Award. Mr. Gonzalez is a founder of the Sunnyside Foundation. Congratulations to Challenger Middle School Intervention Math Teacher Bill Gully, whose journal article, A Computer-Based Education Program for Middle School Mathematics Intervention, was published in the Journal of Computers in Mathematics and Science Teaching. Congratulations are also in order for Sunnyside District Middle School teachers Suzanne Kaplan of Sierra and Alyssa Leckie of Lawford for having had their article, The Impact of English-Only Legislation on Teacher Professional Development, Shifting Perspectives in Arizona, published in the journal Theory into Practice. The article focuses on how professional development required by law affects the professional lives of teachers. And that was your Sunnyside Update. Thank you for joining us. See, See you next, next month. month.